How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving you some Halo information for you. In this video we're going to be talking about how to get better teammates in your games in Halo 5. Stick throughout the entire video to catch up the little details that it takes to get better teammates on your team. Now if you enjoy these news information videos or like tips and tricks or just kind of update videos about Halo and everything else around the universe in general, well make sure to tap subscribe guys because we're going to be uploading everything Halo related on this channel. Leave a like on this video if you enjoy these kind of information informational videos leave a comment down below if you, what your experience has been maybe using this technique when it comes to trying to get better teammates so i know we're probably all tired of dealing with it and that's having bad teammates on your team people sandbagging bringing down the score people going like 2 and 20 in your game it's really frustrating and we all come across it and so we always want to try to figure out ways to do it but the thing is that if you try to play with a full party to avoid that you get mashed against other full parties and so then it becomes a super sweaty sweat fest and you're basically in a sauna full of nerds trying to sweat who's trying whose balls are the wettest of everybody here and so i mean i'm also I personally i prefer playing solo queue maybe with one other person i don't generally like playing in the full parties anyways and so i always wanted to figure out a way to try to get better teammates and uh recently uh one uh, twitch streamer named nap times who is literally the best Halo 5 swap player right now. He's always champ one like every season or at least top five every single season. This guy's a legend. Uh, I'll leave a link to his Twitch in the description down below so you guys check him out. I follow him on there. He's a great streamer. Go check him out. Beast at SWAT all the time. Nap Times tweeted at Josh Menke saying at least let me play a few games before this and I'm guessing it's probably his first game of the night where basically he's a you know top tier champ player and to balance out the teams they're gonna put some pretty bad players on his team so then the average skill level kind of works out to make it a much more fair match though he tweeted out his uh match here and yeah the matchmaking didn't look very fair on his end as nap times here is obviously like a champ one player got matched with the diamond four which is not too bad but then a guy who's unranked has only played one game and a guy who it looks like it looks like a a plat two maybe a plat three playing against two champions a diamond six and a diamond two now, as you can tell, his team got completely stomped, where the guy who was a plat 2 went 0-16. Pretty bad right there. And so, uh, he tweets this at Josh Manke, like, like, how can I avoid this from happening? It's ruining my experience. Well, Josh Manke comes in with a certain suggestion, which I've been implementing myself and kind of been noticing some changes in the quality of players I've been getting. And uh, Josh Manke tweets back saying, if you cancel your search early, you can control exactly how bad your teammates can get. For example, 100 seconds, you restart your, string, your search, which that totally makes sense. If you're sitting in a lobby and just letting the search and search and search and search, the parameters of what the match can allow is going to get wider and wider and wider when it comes to say latency so connecting to people and also skill level as well because generally the game's going to try to put you at a 60 40 percent win to loss chance of playing the game and so um what you can do then by when you back out of your search and search again it just kind of starts back over from zero so you go high quality medium quality okay quality not so great terrible quality kind of thing and it kind of goes through those parameters every single time you go back through that search so if you keep just backing out and searching again about every like josh mikey says here about every yeah, about every minute minute and a half something like that you'll be getting much better games so i've been implementing this into my games and i've definitely noticed that um i've been getting a lot more fair matches uh, i did a live stream the other night playing team arena using this technique and making sure i'm not saying in, in a search for over a minute generally and a lot of times what will happen like i'm sitting there waiting forever i'll back out go back in and i'm able to find a match like right away so with a better parameter so it just kind of comes with timing and with the lower population that it the halo 5 has right now that um you know doing this technique will help you help you get lower latency and better teammates and higher quality matches and so then you can have a better experience playing halo 5 matchmaking though i still do have my questions exactly how this matchmaking system works because in my last stream like i mentioned before i played for about three hours most of that was in team arena and you know, I was winning actually probably a majority of my games, probably about 60% of my games. 
and there was only one win where I went up 15 CSR. Everything else was going up one. And if I lost anything, I definitely went down. So I started the stream at like midway diamond two and ended at just above diamond one, even though I was winning about 50% of my games. And so it's really disheartening when that kind of stuff happens where you're like, I'm putting all the effort in, I'm doing everything I can to win the game or you know, to rank up and you know, I'm, I'm getting wins. I'm just not ranking up when I get those wins because apparently my uh, CSR has been bloated above my MMR even though I solo grinded basically my way to Diamond 2, so I don't know. So if you guys have any tips or tricks as well about how to get better teammates or have any information on this, please leave me in the comment section down below. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Or if you implement this technique in your searches, let me know how that works out for you. For me, it's been working out really well. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to tap subscribe because we do everything Halo on this channel. You know, we're uploading at least two or three videos a week about Halo news updates and gameplay and everything else in between. So if you want to stay up to date with anything Halo related, make sure you tap subscribe with the bell to keep you notified with anything on the channel. And if you enjoyed this video, found it informative or are able to you know, hopefully get better matches, make sure to tap a like on this video. It helps this video get some more notoriety and it also helps out the channel a lot so that everyone can stay in the know when it comes to getting better teammates on your games. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Check out the videos on the screen right over here. No, just kidding, over here. <laughs> if you miss any content from me, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.